Dino aims to make your life as a developer easier, and in 2024 we made significant strides towards this purpose. First of all, we released the much-anticipated Dino 2, which added backwards compatibility with Node and NPM. We also launched a modern open-source JavaScript and TypeScript registry, improved performance across the runtime, stabilized the Dino standard library and much more, making Dino the simplest, most secure way to write JavaScript and TypeScript. The Dino ecosystem is set for a great 2025. What you might not realize is that this is the best time to get into Dino if you want to build performant, state-of-the-art apps using the best practices and development tools in the industry. Here are 7 of the important technical updates Dino did in 2024, which are guaranteed to make you build better apps faster. In 2022, our survey responses indicated the importance of being able to use NPM packages with Dino. Two years of diligent work later, with the release of Dino 2, we're thrilled to announce that Dino provides backwards compatibility with Node and NPM. Key updates enabling backwards compatibility include understanding package.json, removing the global window variable, and making the bring your own node modules functionality the default. On top of that, you can use all your favorite NPM packages and front-end frameworks. So you can now replicate your favorite tech stack in Dino and get all the other benefits we are offering on top. Starting with version 2, Dino comes with a package manager and three additional subcommands. Of course, these should be familiar if you've used NPM in the past, but they are much faster. These package management commands can pull or remove packages from either NPM or JSR based on the provided specifier or if the package was found in package or dino.json. On top of that, to make it easier to share internal modules in a larger development team, Dino now has private NPM registry support. These work the exact same way as they do in Node and NPM with an NPMRC file. And, since we just mentioned it, one of the highlights of 2024 is the launch of our new JavaScript registry called JSR. It supports TypeScript natively, handles module loading across runtimes and environments, auto-generates documentation from JSDoc-style comments, and can be used with NPM or NPX-like systems. What's more exciting is that JSR supports uploads of TypeScript source, so it has a deep understanding of the code. This enables a smoother, seamless developer experience for both publishing and consuming modules. Since version 1.6, Dino Compile has enabled developers to turn JavaScript and TypeScript programs into single, standalone binaries that run on all major platforms, with no dependencies or additional installs required. This might not seem like much at first, but you'll soon realize that your builds and deployments will be almost non-existing thanks to this streamlined process. For perspective, note that Node.js requires 8 separate steps to achieve what Dino does with one simple command. This past year, we have made major improvements to Dino Compile, such as slimming down the compiled binary by up to 50%, adding code signing for software verification, Windows icon support, and asset bundling. On top of that, programs created with Dino Compile can also use V8 code caching for even faster startup times. In our observations, a Dino compiled NPM binary ran approximately two times faster than regular NPM. Next, let's look at one of the features we are really proud of. Building web servers is a common use case for Dino, and last year we've made notable improvements in both its performance and usability. We also reworked the Dino Serve API to make it 8 to 15% faster. Working with servers in Dino is easier too, since we enhanced the serve command to support writing servers in a declarative manner. On top of that, Dino Serve supports multi-threaded servers with the parallel flag, which enables automatic load balancing across multiple CPU cores with the same ease of use. All these lead up to one of our main priorities, Dino's performance in serverless environments. Our focus has been on optimizing cold start times and execution efficiency, making Dino a top-tier choice for building scalable, event-driven applications. One of the biggest improvements is V8 code caching, which significantly reduces startup latency. By warming up the bootstrap process during snapshot time, Dino functions start faster and require less computational overhead. Additionally, we introduced a write-ahead logging journal for SQLite databases within the Dino directory, enhancing database performance and reducing query execution time. Though benchmarks can't tell the entire story, they offer valuable insights into runtime performance. With Dino 2, our improvements ensure that developers deploying serverless applications experience faster execution, reduced latency, and a smoother development process. Another big achievement is the result of 4 years of work, 151 releases, and more than 4,000 commits. 
The Deno Standard Library is finally stabilized and offers a collection of more than 40 closely audited utility modules covering a wide variety of use cases in JavaScript, the web, and general data manipulation. And the best part is that this library can be used across all JavaScript runtimes and environments. We just scratched the surface of the Deno ecosystem. From an islands-based full-stack web framework to seamless deployments on our deploy platform, Deno really is the Swiss army knife of modern development. You can find out more about our 2024 achievements in the blog post linked in the description or in one of the other videos from the channel. Until next time, thank you for watching.